everybody, it's Robin Moses. I'm here with Evil Client and I am going to be doing Vinylux Nails and I am starting this tutorial with Cerulean C number 171 and I'm going to be doing some decorations with Pink Bikini number 134 and Banana Clips. <laughs> Remember those? <laughs> number 239. So these are all really bright and colorful uh, spring colors. Um, not quite Easter, but spring, almost summer. So I, I want to see how these cover onto each other. So I have two coats of the first one on and putting on some pink over the top like this. So I see that it has pretty good coverage because it's, it's hard to cover pink over blue. And I was I just I just see that these are so thick and rich and juicy that I had to try it. So I see that it's turning purple, and I'm just gonna go through and make some decorations with the pink, and I'll meet you back. Boop. So <laughs> So this yellow is something. This yellow is something to talk about. Look at that. That's a lovely amount of pigment for a yellow over blue. Would you agree, Evil Client? Yeah. I like it. That's pretty dang swag, I must say. Okay, so on this one I just did a, a French pink, a, a pink, pink nude color. And what I'm going to do is I am going to do a Patrick Nagel inspired face, hopefully, if everything goes well. Now, Patrick Nagel was an artist in the 80s who was really famous for things, uh, Duran Duran, him and uh, Peter Max. So, they had the really straight eyebrows and the eyes that are like highly defined with eyeliner. That and then no, no, barely any nose like this. And then he would cut off into lips sometimes, like just mid, mid painting. So there'd be like some lips, some not. So it'll be off. This. So I'm gonna do this one painted off. I might do the full face on the other one. Highlights like this. When I top coat. You won't be able to see these little brush strokes, but I can go in and just make it look a little bit more real. Like this. And then I would take the red color in her lips. And then the eyeballs. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the eyeballs would be blue down here this <clears throat> and then this one's going to be looking at me right here like this then I will um, shade with a little bit more black here and then add the when it dries but then add the pupil in like this and you got yourself a supermodel boom so fun. This inspired me. I was like, this color looks in my head. I was like, and evil clients like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And I was like, I think I'm going to do butterflies. Change <laughs> of plans. Change of plans. So I'm going to go in with um, just, just decorative stripes and, um, and dots so that it looks a little bit like pop art in blacks and whites. I'm going to try and stay away from doing too many, uh, too many um, stripes that aren't straight. I want him to, to stay straight looking like a painting, one of his paintings. He didn't go into curves a lot. The only curves he had was real dark, dark hair curves. So, Which I swear I had those in the 80s. I had those bangs. I did too. <laughs> that was because of him. He started a whole thing and we both bought it. <laughs> My hair was big. <laughs> Every, 
everybody's hair was big. I know it. When I went to hair school, I mean, when I went to nail school, it was 1989, and it was when the hair was the biggest. Mm. Remember? Yeah. Right before the fall. <laughs> okay, so um, I can, okay, so I'm going to cut out a little tiny bit like this in purple. And then I'll do like some geograph. I'll do I'll do some geometric triangles in here. Get some triangle action going. I can do a triangle like this. But I think you guys get the idea. I don't know for sure if you guys do. And if I didn't explain anything too well, you can tell me, and I'll do another one because this is fun. this. See how I, that one's kind of curved? I want to make sure my lines are pretty straight. Like that. That's just fun. And then by the time you do the line, boom. And this is all using my liner brush. The liner brush can be found at robinmosesnailart.com. Okay, so I'm in the middle of all kinds of paint. Okay, um, I'm going in with very, very thin white now. And I've added bunch of different um, triangles and colors and layers and spirals just layer after layer of stuff and then I'm going in with um, white thinned way down and I am just spiraling, spiraling it around in highlighting um, areas with triangular geometric patterns. Okay, and here are the end result of these nails. Okay, so I put matte top coats on the faces and these are really, really cool. I am, I love these nails. So, so let me zoom out and I will show you. Okay, so I put a shiny top coat on the rest and that kind of like binds them all together and gives that, that 80 feel to them. And I, I want you guys to like, not be scared of this design. This design is all about having fun. I, I purposely did not make each one of these per perfect on purpose so that you can see that each one of these is not perfect but yet it goes together and it looks awesome and I want you guys to try it and show me on my Instagram Robin Moses Nail Art if you do try it and then I'll show you the other design. And I had to do this face twice because it kept it, it didn't look like a nagel drawing. It, it looked like my faces that I draw and I was like no I want these to look like really a certain way so there's that and then you guys want me to show thumbs so here are the thumbs and it is just an 80s wonderland full of bright fun colors that are perfect for spring or summer any time of year but mostly for you to have fun painting so anyways you guys thank you so much for watching and for um spreading the word and everything that you're doing i'm having fun and i will see you back with more every monday wednesday and friday bye bye zoom in yeah oops that's too close there we go so there they are all right bye guys